what is up guys been a while since I've done a video like this huh so first off before we get into the topic of the video I just want to say that we only have two more months to go until this channel goes back to normal seems like a long time two months tell me about it but I've already made it through four months of it so we are two-thirds of the way there and uh, iOS 8 just came out so I can't hold back no more guys I need to make videos um, and then I'm gonna explain this uh, iOS 8 icon right here uh, why is that there um, I, I still don't I can't have custom thumbnails on my videos really sucks so that's why that little icon is there so hopefully uh, YouTube will give me a, a great suggestion for a thumbnail I'll have actually a total of three options when it comes to the thumbnail so hopefully I get something good let's pray on that but anyways joking aside the topic of this video is iOS 8 beta specifically beta 1 considering uh, iOS beta 1 just came out yesterday uh, so first off I've gotten a lot a lot of questions from you guys on Instagram Twitter and Facebook and the three main questions are should I install iOS 8 beta 1 on my device how do I install iOS 8 beta on my device and where do I uh, where do I download the iOS 8 beta 1 firmware so I'm gonna answer those three questions in this video and give you guys my complete opinions on those and also give you guys all the links you need down in the description to accomplish whatever you might want to do so that's all down there so before I get into the first question and I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys uh, I do want to make this uh, very blunt to you guys uh, and just be aware of it if you guys update to 7.1.1 or iOS 8 beta 1 and you're on a jailbroken device there is no going back you will lose your jailbreak okay there's no way to downgrade to get back to a jailbreakable firmware at this point and there probably never will be and I highly doubt iOS 7.1.1 is going to be jailbroken they're probably going to be mainly focusing on ios 8 at this point so you're going to lose your jailbreak if you do decide to up uh basically update to 7.1.1 or ios 8 so do keep that in mind now on to the first question in which i want to cover in this video and that is should i update to ios 8 beta 1 should i now if you guys are watching this in the future and be aware of the time frames here uh currently beta 1 is out now my answer for this question will change uh, probably with beta 3 so if beta 3 is out be aware of that uh, this you know question is gonna be a little bit re uh, irrelevant at that time because my answer would be different but uh, should you install iOS 8 beta 1 on your device now I have two answers for this and it depends on your situation uh, first off if this is gonna be installed on your daily driver something you depend on every single day um, something that you heavily rely on and specifically if it's something you use for work I would not do it until beta 3 I would hold off until beta 3 there is a ton of bugs with beta 1 now this is gonna vary from device to device depending on what applications you have installed these apps are not updated to support iOS 8 at this point um, you know mainly the iOS installed apps like phone and messages and calendar and weather those are pretty stable for the most part it's the third-party applications from the App Store that you're gonna have a lot of problems with I mean Instagram crashes all the time on me and this is only within one day so Instagram crashes all the time for me Facebook crashes and it's just glitchy and weird uh, Tweetbot is very glitchy it hasn't crashed too much but it's really glitchy and there's things I can't do with it in which I want to um, YouTube has crashed a few times um, also, you know, my device will randomly respring on itself. It'll randomly do, uh, you know, like weird stuff. It's just glitchy. Like uh, earlier today, um, I was actually stuck on just the, the regular black screen and I had to do a hard reboot on my device to get it back up or to restart it basically and get it working again. So if you're an average person and you're, and this is on your daily driver, no, 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 no. I would probably wait until beta three in all honesty. Okay. Now, if you consider yourself a veteran, and don't be cocky about this, if you consider your, yourself a veteran with your device, and you don't really depend too much on it for work, it's mainly just for talking on the phone and getting text messages for the most part, then you might be okay. Uh, like I said, if you're a veteran, like if you've had the iPhone since like the 4S, you've been jailbroken a whole bunch, you're used to it respringing, you're used to glitches and weirdness, and you know, you know how to... Um, pretty much if you know how to hard reboot your device, if you know how to put it in DFU mode to reinstall the beta firmwares, if you know how to do all that with ease, like I said, a veteran, then yeah, you should be okay to run iOS 8 uh, beta 1 on your device. And this is just for beta 1. So 
uh, that's my answer for that. If it's on a device that's not your daily driver, like an iPad or the iPod Touch, if it's something that just kind of lays around your house and so you don't depend on it, then go for it. You know, it's all fun and games, then you get to try out the betas. So that's my opinion on the first question. I hope you guys understood that. On to the second question. How do I install iOS 8 Beta 1 on my device? This is a good question too. Now I'm not actually going to do a tutorial in this video like I said. This is more of an explanation. So I'm going to explain the three different ways you can do this. And yes, there's three different ways. And we'll start with the most legitimate and get to the least legitimate. So the most legitimate way to go about installing iOS 8 Beta 1 on your device is to actually purchase a Apple developer account and that costs $100 per year, okay? So if you're willing to blow that kind of money on a developer account or if you're a baller or whatever, you're rich, you, you got money to blow, then go for it. You know, why not? Uh, and there's also some really good perks that go along with having a developer account. That's how I have uh, my devices, you know, running iOS 8. That's how I did it last year. That's how I'm doing it this year. Um, you have access to uh, 100 slots in which you can register UDIDs and you could also, you know, register your friends if you wanted to. If you're like, hey... Uh, you know, you want to try out the betas, I can put you in one of my slots, or if there's a girl you're trying to impress and she has an iPhone, or you know, whatever it might be. Um, there's a lot of perks with that, and you also do get direct access to the iOS 8 beta firmware downloads directly from the portal. As soon as beta 2 comes out, we all have access to that beta firmware first, immediately as soon as it comes out, so we can directly download that from the portal. So... Uh, that's the most legitimate way to do it, and I know a lot of you are not going to want to spend a hundred dollars on that. It's really, uh, you know, just it's just too much for you. You're not really interested in uh, dropping that kind of cash on something that's only going to be used for like you know the next whatever three four months or whatever it might be, maybe even five. I don't know. So that's the first way. The second way is to actually purchase a UDID registration from somebody else that has a developer account. Okay, now I'm going to make this next part of this. Uh, simplified for you just because you bought a UDID registration uh, from somebody else's developer account does not give you access to the developer portal only that one person that has the account goes in there you do not have access to it so basically you buy for the you buy the UDID registration all that means is that your device is registered and you won't have any hassle with iTunes in installing the beta firmwares but it's up to you to find the beta firmwares uh, you know from somewhere else and I actually have you know uh, I'll get to that in a minute where you can where you can download that because I do have that linked up below so Buying th that's that's probably what I would recommend to you guys It's usually like five to fifteen bucks to register your device and then it's good for one year And you only have to worry about your one device. You don't have to blow a hundred dollars on a whole account You don't have to worry about you know all the Apple stuff. You just have to worry about um, You know finding the firmware to install it on your device so that's what I'll kind of recommend. Um, and then the third option is to do it for free. There is a process currently on how to do that. I have a link down below that will show you guys on how to install iOS 8 beta 1 for free. Um, like I said, it's linked down below. And it, it actually features a video from iTweaks. I didn't actually make the tutorial uh, this year. Uh, and the reason why I feature his videos is because he does them the way I would do them And I really like the way he makes his content like similar to how I would do it So that's why I used his videos and I also do have a written tutorial uh, with that as well And also supplied within that that post is the link to the downloads for iOS 8 beta 1 and uh, It's non developer links. It's right from mega anybody can download it so those are your three options on how to install iOS 8 on your device. Now, the third question. The third question. Where can I download iOS 8 Beta 1? Well, I basically just explained that. Link is down below if you guys are looking to download legitimate iOS 8 Beta 1s from a non developer. You know, anybody can download it. I have the links for that down below. And that's pretty much it for that question. It, it answered itself pretty much. So, those are the three questions you guys asked me, and I tried to cover it all in this video. Uh, like I said, this is an explanation video, and I hope I explained everything, you know, very clearly to you guys. If you need to, rewind it and listen again, because I'm pretty sure I explained everything, you know, right on point on the way it works. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it. All the links are down below for anything you guys need to figure out, if I can do this without smacking my uh, uh, pop filter here. Um, so, yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up, or throw me a thumbs up if you guys want to see, you know, more iOS 8 coverage, I guess. It'd be pretty fun, wouldn't it? Uh, damn custom thumbnails, man. I tell you, that's such an annoyance. If I could make custom thumbnails, I'd have so many more videos. But anyways, 
If you guys enjoyed it, thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos like this and lots of coverage of iOS 8, click the subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.